This is the $25 Walmart versus $25 Dick Sporting Goods Budget Fishing Challenge. Adam's going to Walmart and your boy Noah's going to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. We each get $25 to spend on five different fishing lures. Whoever catches a fish on each of the five baits wins the challenge. All right, boys, we're outside of Dick's Sporting Goods right now. We get $25 to pick out five baits. I got my boy A-Dub over at Walmart. He's also gonna get $25 for five baits. Once I pick out my five baits and A-Dub picks out his five baits at Walmart, we're gonna meet at a random location and then we're gonna split off and be able to fish any ponds that we want to. The first person to five fish wins. Well, let's go ahead and get inside of Dick's Sporting Goods and see what we pick out. We actually haven't filmed one in here in a very long time. And the last video that we filmed that was structured this way, we did Walmart versus Bass Pro. If you guys wanna see some more videos like this, definitely let me know, comment down below. Let me know what store that you guys wanna see next. Let's go ahead and get in the fishing section and see what they got. So the one thing we need to think about today, I'm going against A-Dub, okay? First person that catches a fish on each of the five baits. So I can't catch a fish, like I can't catch two fish on one of the baits. I have to make sure I catch a fish on each of the five baits, which means we need to pick out some pretty good baits to be able to win this challenge. That's just one thing we need to think about. So let's go over here and see what we got. By the way, they're, they're doing some weird construction in here. I apologize ahead of time. I don't know what is going on, but I hear a bunch of beeping noises, some drilling action. I, I don't know what they're doing. All right, boys, that beating and banging wasn't gonna work, so we're just gonna do a little voice over here. So we needed to pick out five baits that we were very confident with so we can put a dub to the dust so there was a big variety but the big thing with dicks the baits were a little overpriced i was looking at a bunch of different things and just couldn't figure out exactly what i wanted but the first thing i wanted to pick out was a moving bait so i looked at a bunch of the lipless crank baits and i decided to go with the red eye shad that's just my go-to that's something i use all the time and that is our bait number one Going on to bait number two, I wanted to go ahead and knock out the moving baits. I had to go with the chatter donk. I mean, that is just a big fish catching machine. I know the size doesn't matter in this video, but you guys got to know we're going for them big bass today. So that is bait number two. So I also wanted to get a worm, but at the same time, I really didn't want to go with the Sanko. I want to say I used that in the last challenge. So we were looking at the different options that they had, and I ended up going with just a standard curly tail worm. This is actually the power bait one, sadly. I don't really like power bait just because it smells horrible but we ended up going with that anyways and if i know anything about a fluke it is just a fish catching machine so we have to go with the white super flukes it's just a confident bait of mine that i always throw and i can always seem to catch fish on now on to bait number five we looked at a bunch of different crawls but the biggest problem that we had with this was just the price and number two they just didn't have any rage crawls so we had to go whip out with the yamamoto crawls in black and blue and the good thing about this crawls is that we can actually put that on the back of the chatter bait. So that's gonna end up coming in helpful. But that's our five baits. All right, boys, I have to run away from the construction. Chatter donk, okay. We've got a two tap by striking. That's our two moving baits. We got the old curly tail worms, had to pick that up. We got some zoom flukes, you guys already know, just a fish catcher machine. And the last bait that I chose, which I haven't fished with before, is one of the Yamamoto crawls. The cool thing about this, is it counts as its own bait, but I can actually throw these on the back of the chatter donk. So I kind of killed two birds with one stone there. I can put, have a trailer for this. It's not gonna count as a fish on both of the baits if I catch one with a crawl on this, but it is something I can also throw on the back of this. All right, boys, we got the goods. It is time to go meet up with Adam, see what he got at. Actually, I can't see what he got at Walmart. That's the trick of the challenge. We're not allowed to know what baits that we get. But it's time to go meet Adam in a random parking lot. Then we're gonna split off and go to the random locations that we pick. We are at the Walmart and it is now time for me to go pick out my five baits. I'm a little bit jealous because Noah got to go to Dick's and I'm stuck at Walmart. But honestly, Walmart has some really good deals. We should be able to get some stuff for pretty cheap. And uh, Walmart's never let me down as far as fishing stuff goes. So let's go in here and see what they got. So this is actually Walmart I've never been to before. I don't really know what they're gonna have in this fishing section. We're near the beach, so they might have a lot of saltwater stuff. I'm kind of hoping that it's mostly fresh water, but we're just gonna have to see. Let's go up here and see what they got. I'm thinking that I want to get some type of worm, some type of crawl, some type of swim bait or fluke, then maybe a jig, maybe a spinner bait. I don't really know. Let's just, let's just see. Hmm. We got some bubblegum worms. Kind of a spring type bait, but in ponds, it's kind of hard to beat bubblegum worm. So, I'm getting some bubblegum worms. So, we got the bubblegum worms, and right here next to it, we've got 
baby bass flukes. Fire color. This right here looks like a little bass, a little bluegill, a little fish just swimming around. That is the money right there. You know, I was thinking about getting me some grape shads, but I don't think I'm gonna get my money's worth because somebody done come in here and took quite a few of them. <laughs> Let's get us a little spinner bait. I think that this one right here is our best option. It's white, it's got a little bit of black in there. Should work good. It's the pond magic. We're getting the pond magic. All right, so, so far we've got some bubblegum worms. We have got some baby bass flukes. We have got a spinner bait. And I wanna get one more soft plastic. I saw these right here. I use these all the time. Just a regular stick bait. This is from Strike King. Watermelon red, black, perfect color. Should be good for just about everywhere we're gonna be fishing. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna throw it on a wacky rig. Okay. We're gonna get a rattle trap because I need another hard bait. We've got a few. Got a couple different colors. Which one I want? This is the little mini one. That's quarter ounce. Let's get the half ounce. We're not going for dinks today, man. We gotta go with the big baits. We're going for big fish. That's my five right there. Got the half ounce rattle trap lipless crank bait. Got the spinner bait, little mini spinner bait, pond magic. Got the stick baits, got the bubblegum worms, and got the baby bass flukes. Let's go. Got my five, and I'm gonna win. Briar. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> All right, so we got our five baits. We gotta go meet up with Noah now, and we are gonna go catch some bass. I'm planning on winning, planning on catching a 10 pounder. Feeling good about my bait selection. I don't know what he got, but feeling good about me, and that's what matters. Let's go. You're What's ready? good, You're Mr. A Dub, son? Listen. You're, you ready to go down? Are you ready to go down, that's son? You. Okay. Are you ready? I've got the best baits, so. So you found some good stuff at Walmart? Found some good okay. stuff at the old reliable Walmart. You got five baits? Five baits. So this is how it's gonna work. We got five baits. Whoever catches a fish on each of the five baits wins, okay? All right. We're gonna have about, I'd say three hours, okay? I don't need Then you that. do it in three hours? I don't need three. Then you do it in three hours? Okay, so this one's gonna work. You're gonna go in your car, I'm gonna go in mine. You can fish anywhere that you want, as long as you're bank fishing. That'll work. Challenge? I got a couple places in mine. I'm okay. ready. And the challenge starts now. Whoa, whoa. All right, boys. We got to get out of here and get on the road. I'll tell you guys, the first spot that I'm gonna go to is a little far away. Um, not really far away, but probably a 20 minute drive. So we need to get on the road and get out to this spot. We're about to blast Young Dolph all the way there. We're about to catch him. Let's go, boys. Crazy part about this challenge is I do not know where Adub's gonna start. For all I know, he could start just half a mile down the road and already catch three fish before I get to my spot. But at the end of the day, I don't think he'll catch him that quick, but I guess we'll see. So let's go ahead and get down the road and get to our first location. There goes the loser. <laughs> Let's go. All right, boys, we just made it out to our first spot. And I'm gonna show you guys and give you a little rundown on my strategy to smoke Adam today, okay? So we have three soft plastics. We have a fluke, we have a worm, and then these crawls. And then we have two moving baits. We have the old confidence bait, the chatter donk. We also have a lipless strike king red eye shad. I think I'm gonna start off with my confidence bait, which is a chatter donk. And the reason I brought these crawls out is because this is what I was talking about earlier. I can kind of kill two birds in one stone. I can use this as a trailer, and then I can also go back to a Texas rig later today. So this isn't gonna count as me knocking off two baits off the list, but this will help me as far as just getting a trailer for this chatter bait. So we're gonna go ahead and rig this up. If you guys are wondering what combo I'm using, it's a Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. We got bait casters and spinning combos on the website. So if you guys want to go check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate the love and support. We're going to go ahead and tie up this chatter donk and see if we can catch a fish. I'm actually at a pond that I haven't fished in a long time, guys, but I've actually caught a lot of big fish out of here. And I know the size of the fish does not matter in this challenge, but I really want to put up some big fish today. I'm just in the mood to catch a monster. We're gonna tie this chatter donk up with a uni knot. Boom, cinch her down. Now we're gonna rig up this black and blue crawl right on the back of this puppy. This is actually a pretty large crawl for this chatter donk, but it'll do, man. It'll get the job done. Actually looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Look at that. I'm actually going to grab this lipless and keep it in my pocket just in case we catch a fish and we need to switch up. 
But let's go ahead and get casting, see if we can get some of these fish to bite. I think what I'm gonna start off with is gonna be this pink worm right here. I think that it could work really well. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we should be good to go now. I'm just gonna grab just a regular old wide gap hook like that right there. We're gonna rig that up weedless. Some people like to throw the weedless baits on spinning rods. I do sometimes, but it also works really good on a bait caster. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh dude, that crawl on the back of that thing actually looks pretty good. Makes the bait look really big. It gives it a bigger presentation for sure. Maybe we'll get us a monster on it. It's been so long since I've fished this pond, I just do not know what to expect. But there's some really big fish in here. So we're just gonna walk and cast, try to fish efficiently as we can, and try to get a fish on board real quick. Oh yeah, boys, we're getting into the money. That's where I was wanting to cast this chowder donk. I used to fish this pond with my boy Delton years back, and he caught so many dang seven pounders in this pocket. But that was years ago. You know, places can change. Just hope they haven't changed too much because I would not mind catching a seven pounder right now. Oh my gosh, that's a huge carp, I think. If it's a bass, it's my PB. It's definitely a carp. Look at him. <laughs> yep, that was a carp. I'm gonna throw off the end of it, see if there's something sitting deeper. That pipe comes out right there. I don't know how well you can see it. Once we get up there, you'll be able to see it, but it looks gorgeous. Tell me that's not the most beautiful looking pipe you've ever seen. What do you mean by that? Well, clearly they do not like the pink worm in this pond, so we're going with one of these. Uh, I'm thinking the lipless crankbait. Let's try the lipless crankbait out. There we go. And there's got to be a fish up in that pipe, right? You'd think. It's a crazy looking pipe. You would think there'd be some dang fishies up in there. I mean, it's such a long skip. Like, I ain't bad at skipping, but that's a freaking... I need to have some with a little more weight, a little more momentum to be able to skip it way up in there from here. I can keep trying, though. Might be worth it. Yeah. I'm getting right inside of it barely, but I need to get way back up in there. Dude, look at that. Look at that right there in this corner. One just hit way up there. Let's see if we can get him to bite here. Come on, baby. Nice old chatter donk just swimming by you. Come on now. Oh, what was that? That was not a bass. That was. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, dude. <laughs> first one of the day. Not a giant, but our first fish. And he's trying to hook me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey. Oh, goodness gracious. Just let me hold you, buddy. Just let me hold you. Okay. Be nice. No shaking. There we go. Look at that. First fish of the day on the little lipless crankbait. Now we can move on to our next bait. That's perfect, dude, let's go. Oh, I just went all the way in the back of that pipe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. No freaking way. Come on, baby, stay on, stay on. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that fish out of that freaking pipe, man. There ain't no way that that just happened. Oh my gosh. I fished around that whole pond for one bite there at the end. I happened to skip this chatter donk right up in that pipe and catch a solid two pounder. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, I was sick. That was one of the coolest eats I've seen. There's actually a few rocks out from that pipe and I thought it was a rock. And all of a sudden, I felt his head shake for two seconds. I, I would have missed that fish if I didn't hook set. But that's a very pretty, healthy one. 
Let's get her back in the water and tie on a different bait. That'll start us off, boys. That's how we do it. Thank you, baby. So that fish was sitting out in the middle of the pond. So I'm thinking that we try the spinner bait and just see if we can pull one at this pond on a spinner bait. We do have a lot of good structure here, which could be good for the soft plastics, but the spinner bait is also going to be really good about around that structure, like that dock and these lay downs and stuff like that. So we're going to try it out just because it should sink a little bit deeper and I should be able to catch them on this. All right, boys. So we're going to cut off this chatter donk and tie on this lipless crankbait so this pond is actually a lipless crankbait pond like i've caught a majority of the fish out here on a lipless that's just been kind of our go-to that we fish with out here i wanted to try that chatter donk for just a minute to skip it up there and it ended up panning out so let's just tie this puppy on and start fan casting out here in the middle it kind of lays out similar to that last pond that we were at you know it's got a flat out here on the edge and it has a slight drop off sometimes a lot of those big fish will sit out there so let's tie this up right here and uh start casting see what we can do cast that dang lipless crankbait a mile cast that thing a mile son might be able to get one of these great big ones that sit out here on that drop off and by drop off it's only like a three or four foot drop pond's actually pretty shallow it just goes from like two foot to six so it ain't like you're talking a big drop but in a pond that's only six foot when you have a drop that's three or four foot that is massive even a two foot drop in that can be big there's a fish freaking jumping on the bank and these fish might be active today boys let me get this bait in and try to throw in there maybe we can get our second fish in this pond and then keep moving i want to hit a bunch of different places today and i have a couple big fish areas i want to try Thing there cast every bit of line off the spool of this rattle trap the lipless oh no dude are you kidding me hey why why did you have to do that to me what you doing buddy oh my god i got it no i don't well, that is not a fish, but it felt good. A turtle distracted me, man. A little soft-shelled turtle just popping up on the bank. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? There's a ton of bait popping out here, but I don't think that that's bass. I don't know. Could be. That's a good one. Oh, he might not be that big. Dude, he felt so big when he first bit, but he is running. I think he's better than that first one. There we go. Let's go, dude. Thought he was way bigger. He wasn't that big. But he's a bass. And that is fish number two. He hit it good. That's all I can ask for. Mmm, feisty. All right, boys. Out at a new pond and a new game plan. Let me show you guys what I'm going to do. So I had this lipless crankbait tied on, but I kind of want to put on my Texas rig and throw that worm to just see if I can go ahead and punch off another fish. I seem to always get a little behind on these challenges. I kind of get caught up doing something or I'm fishing a place that I don't really need to fish or I'm just like being not productive with it. So I'm gonna kind of speed up my pace here and see if we can get a couple more fish on the board. So I'm gonna tie on this Texas rig and put on this curly tail worm. There's a few brush piles that are off the bank at this pond and I should be able to throw in there and get a couple bites. So. Let's tie up real quick and hopefully these fish will be biting good. I'm thinking I'm gonna try one of these two. And honestly, these fish have been biting it out here really deep. So what we're gonna do is instead of the wacky rig like I was originally planning, we're going to go with a classic regular Texas rig. This pond has got some more structure over here that I haven't even fished yet. And I think that it's gonna be really, really good. That's what we're working with right there. A little Texas rig. We're gonna go work our way over towards this structure over here. I had to buy these worms because they were cheaper than the other ones, but I'll tell you, I do not like these worms. They smell so dang bad, man. Like they're just disgusting, dude. I don't know what it is, but these worms stink. 
supposedly it helps the fish bite but i'm gonna tell you for my sanity i'd probably not even want to throw this dang worm because of how bad they smell but <laughs> maybe they're gonna smoke a smoke us a fish real quick so let's go ahead and start casting a lot of brush piles out here let's see if they're gonna bite Rough, 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 rough. Oh my gosh. Before I even moved the bait, he was on there. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Noah better watch out. That's three. We are catching them, son. They're not big, but they're fighting good. You can see that one. He literally was just pulling my line like crazy didn't even move it it was just sitting on the bottom he just came up and just ate that thing we're gonna go to a big fish pond because i want to beat noah but i want to beat him with some big fish so we have definitely got to upgrade from where we are right now all right fish do me a favor here just bite my dang worm if we can get this worm punched out real quick i might switch right over to the crawl and just try to get that one knocked out too these fish in here tend to like bottom baits at least what we've tried in the past. We haven't really tried many moving baits, so I could be wrong with that. But there are a bunch of nice little lay downs and little brush piles out here in this water that these fish like to hang on. And I'll tell you, when these fish bite it out here, they bite it good. They'll smoke that dang thing. They'll go thump. There we go. There we go, boys. That's a big one. That is a freaking monster. That is a monster right there. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned, baby. Come on now. Come on now, stay pinned. Oh, dude, that's a good one. <clears throat> Let's go, that's a freaking four pounder, baby. Let's go. I'd say more in that three, three and a half pound range, but that's a good freaking fish, man. <laughs> that is a great bass. Look at that, boys. Second fish of the day. And it's a freaking nice one, man. Super thick and healthy. And that fish was right off of that isolated cover there. I'll tell you, that is the first bite that I've actually had on this isolated cover. Maybe that's something we need to throw at some more. But there we go, guys. Second bait. Knocked off the list. Get this baby back in the water. It's a good three pounder. Let's go, Bubba. Let's go. Whew. I feel a lot better on fish on bait number three than bait number two. I'll tell you that. Okay, we're at spot number two, and this should be a good pond for big fish. And we're gonna switch it up because I've already used those other baits, and we are going to break out the good old spinning rod. Got the beautiful little fluke right there. These things should be perfect. It looks exactly like a little bass or a little bluegill, just any little bait fish. And these fish should chomp on it. And I'm throwing this on the spinning rod because the spinning rod has some lighter lines. So this bait should be able to get down in the water column a little bit easier because it's lighter line. I've been seeing a bunch of bait fish over here just popping on the surface. They'll start to do that during this fall transition. I'm hoping there's a couple of bass over here feeding on them like that. <laughs> Dude, I just caught a crappie. What in the world? I will say that is the first time I've ever caught a crappie on a fluke. That does not count for the challenge, I don't think. I think we're doing bass, not fish. That counts as a fish, but that's most definitely not a bass. All right, guys, we had a magical moment last time we fished here. Maybe we can make it happen again. Freaking monster, man. I want to see it. That fish we caught was giant. You can roll the clip back. And there's an alligator. Oh, I just got hit. Big and boys. Big and boys. Monster. Monster. I'm talking giant, giant. I'm talking like mega, mega. Oh my gosh. And there's a gator in the distance. I can't let him get near this. This is a giant fish, guys. I can't even move him. I can't even move this bass. Oh my God. Like this could, could every bit be of eight plus pounder. Oh my god, it's a 10, 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 it's a 10 pounder, it's a 10 pounder, it's a 10 pounder, baby, it's a 10 pounder. Stop it. 
Oh my god, it's got a 10 pounder. It's got a freaking 10 pounder, baby. Oh my god, what a freaking bass. I'm gonna let her go. That was one of the biggest fish that I've caught in a long time, and it was standing in this exact same spot. Maybe we could duplicate it here. Catch another one that big. I know this challenge isn't about big fish, but I want to show you guys some big fish. All right, I just made a move over to this other pond. This is technically pond number four. We're going to see what happens. So water, water clarity is kind of weird. It's kind of like orange red. I don't really know what color it is. It's kind of interesting. Dude, I got one. Let's go. What in the world? I was not expecting that. He's not a terrible fish. He's got some shoulders. But he is a youngin'. There we go. On the old fluke, that leaves one more bait. And that is the pink worm. And I think that this is the pond for that bait. I'm ready. Let's go. It's the last one. Oh, that's a big one, I think. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Not a giant, but that's a decent fish. Come on, baby. Yep, he's on the bank. He's on the bank. Hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> we got him on the bank. That counts, right? We're we going to have to call A-Dub. We, we have to call A-Dub on this one. Oh, boy. I think that counts, guys. I mean, we had him on the bank. If he didn't make it on the bank, he wouldn't have. Let's see what A-Dub thinks. Hey. I got a question, man. You're on camera. What's the question? Okay. <laughs> I think it should count. Okay. Obviously, if you lose a fish, it doesn't count. But what if you got them on the bank? How many fish you got? I got three, include, including that one. Oh, I'm ahead of you, so I'll give it to you. Okay. That counts. Boys, listen. In the comment section down below, do you think if the fish is on the bank that that counts as a catch? Let us know. All right. Time to say goodbye to Mr. Fluke. Say hello to Mr. Pink Worm. This water clarity I was just talking about, it's kind of orangish red. And honestly, I think that's perfect for this color because I usually like to throw this in stained water. And this water isn't stained, but it is a little bit off colored. So this pink worm might actually work really, really good. But we never know until we try it. So let's see what we can do with this thing still got a lot of this pond to cover i've only fished this one really small spot so should be able to get another bite on this thing dude look at that oh my gosh that was definitely a bass just chasing bait if i just had the fluke on oh my goodness are you kidding me that would have been perfect for the fluke dude there was literally so much bait right there just getting wrecked That was definitely a good bass. Oh my gosh. No, dude. Are you kidding me? It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? All right, boys. Well, we tied on the crawl here. Adam said that that counts as a fish catch. I, I, to be honest, I would say if he's on the bank, we, we that should be a catch. But then again, I want to know y'all's feedback. Some people are going to say he has to be in your hands. Some people are saying you have to touch him. I know some people are going to say, I mean, if he's on the bank, you caught him. So <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys have to say. But the one thing that we found out with that phone call, which we usually don't find out during these challenges, is how many fish Adam has. So he said he has more than me, which means he has four. I have three. He has four. We are in a tough spot here. We need to try to catch two fish before he gets one more bite. So let's keep our heads down and see if we can get another bite here. What in the world? Dude, that was, oh no, they're schooling again. Literally at my feet, bro. Are you kidding me? I just had a fish right there. He was tiny. Then they just came up right here schooling again. And now they just stopped. At my feet. Are you serious? <laughs> when they come up, they literally, Oh, yes, dude. Let's go. That's the biggest fish I've caught today. 
we have just completed our five fish challenge right there thank you mr bass i knew i could catch one of those schoolers that's exactly this fish was in that school getting those other fish and he bit that pink worm they were not chasing pink worms they were chasing around bait fish but that is our fifth fish of the day thank you mr bass for biting see you later